good morning everyone I'm Matt there, that's Carol uh, there's Brad and Regina over there our friend Danielle still asleep uh, but we woke up to this incredible spot I mean uh, the the campsites on this trip just keep getting better and better and better goose is very unhappy right now but we, we are not in a hurry to leave this spot today. It's just absolutely mind blowing. Kara's out here playing with her RC Defender. Brad and Regina are cooking breakfast. Um, in just a minute, we are gonna go on a hike right through there. That's about a mile hike and it dumps you out at the Owyhee River. And so we're gonna go check that out. Then we're gonna go keep exploring the Owyhees. This is um, just an incredible trip. If you haven't seen the, the previous videos around this trip, uh, especially how we got here, go, go check those out too. Um, but it's going to be a good day. So, hope you enjoy it. Alright, so how's the maiden voyage of the van going? Uh, it's going well. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to learn and figure out. And, you know, I mean, let's be honest, I don't have my confidence on this thing off-road. But yesterday was a good start to that, so... I mean, you tackled some cool stuff that I wish I'd got on film. Yeah, uh, I, I think it was, you know, it was getting dark, it was wet, it was muddy. Yeah. We just we, wanted to get back to camp. We just wanted to get back to camp. But I was pretty impressed with the traction control system on this. I actually did a pretty good job. I was impressed. Way. Yeah. I was very impressed. So, it's it's just, it's another option for your adventures. You know, over the years, we've adventured many different ways. Whether it was ground tents, or rooftop tents, or trailers, or campers on the power wagon. And this is just another thing that we want to do experience. I think that, I mean, it's, we proved it yesterday. The Jeep and the trailer is our favorite way to do it because we can go anywhere without having to worry about it. But this, this is, you know, good long road trip, national parks, that kind of stuff. I mean, and you don't have to have massively built Jeeps to get to places like this. this is true. And can I just say, it would be so nice to be self-contained when we were experiencing... <laughs> oh, during the storms, oh the God. monsoons? Yes, it would have. Yeah. I would much rather have ridden out those storms in, in this than yeah. than what we did. Yeah. There, there's pros and cons to all of this. Right? There is? So, yeah. I love it. This hike is supposed to be a mile one way. So from what we understand, it does get pretty rugged toward the end. Some boulder scrambling, that sort of thing. But it sounds fun. Cool looking cave up there. You having fun, Goose? We're back here taking selfies. Sorry. Just come straight, just straight across the trails right here around the trail. I just can't see what I'm stepping on. Not bad, Slick. We've reached a challenging spot. I'm not real sure which way to go and what to do here. It looks like it's a sharper drop off, so we're not gonna try that way. I don't know, Matt, what do you think? I'm um, definitely not going this way. I haven't seen what's around that, so I'm not sure. It's dealing with goose that I'm most concerned about. <laughs> Goose, I think you may have reached the end of the line, buddy. Well, we've reached a spot where if we continue on, getting out becomes a major challenge. 
So there's the path where Brad is and going down that way and then through there. Or there's this high road that I came down, but then we've got this really steep, but there's some ledges descent here. So I think this is where we play it safe because being a rescue in here is not wise. Whew. But gosh, it's been such a gorgeous hike. I mean, right around this corner is the lake, Lake Oahe, which is part of the Oahe River. I, it, honestly, the biggest issue is goose, I think, because dealing with goose is the problem. Goose is currently back there with, uh, where is she? With Regina up there. What do you think, Brad? Well, I mean, we were just setting out on an easy hike, but things have, things have changed just a little bit. <laughs> I think if we were more prepared and maybe even in the right mindset that this is what we were going to be doing, I think we'd be okay. But this is a little sketchy. It's, it's this is... crazy, but the last thing you want to do is have somebody, you know, bust an ankle out here or something. No. I just, I just had a vision of him going up there and trying to get to dad and just leaping and I jumping know. the chasm here. Yes, he would He's try. Fearless. He, is he has fearless. no idea. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Hi, camera. Danielle and I wanted to come see what this cave was like up here. Oh, wow. Oh. That goes back there real good. Oh, my goodness. It's huge. That's massive. Holy cow. Oh, that's so cool. That feels so good. This is cool. Okay. This is much deeper than I expected. Me too. Wow. There. <sighs> Lots of graffiti. You know, when you're on a trip like this, it's real easy to just be in a rush to get to the next thing, the next destination, the next town, the next trail. But uh, as best you can, sometimes just stop. Take in an area. I have zero regrets doing this hike this morning, not just waking up and putting everything away and pressing on. I think this is a little more, I don't know, authentic, soaking it in, taking it in an area. This is incredible. This is like you missed some you know? really good apple pie. I am not surprised. It was so good. The I mean, I saw, didn't you post no, a picture No, she posted one for their no. son that she just made. Oh, that's right. Cake. Yeah. Wow. And I do, but I also can't have things as spicy as what I used to just because yeah. I can't drink when I eat. Well, we made it back to camp. Karen and I took showers. We've eaten lunch, just chilling. No hurry to leave here. And as we were sitting around, just talking, I, uh, let's see if I can, is that it? Yeah, I, I want, I decided I want to see if I can get up, up there. I, I don't know if I'll actually even get up to, to there. So, well, I'm going to see. This may be the last you see for me. Whew. Well, I made it this far. There's, there's camp right there. Oh, I'm about maybe a third of the way. Maybe. I don't know. Kind of way, like between.
<laughs> Are you videoing or doing pictures? Video. You want a picture? Yeah, he would. He's like the price is the right guy that like is going up the like the more you bid on something like yodels. Well, I'm a little farther. She brought water. Um, there's, there's where I started. Right there. It's steep. Whew. So, I'm doing this very much like I do when we're off roading. Just kind of pick my lines, kind of look at the path. So, I think here I'm going to go there 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 and then that uh that rock right there is my next my next goal made it to my next Checkpoint. The next one is going to be right up there on that little slab. That's where I'm going next. Here's what it looks like from here. There's camp way down there. Looks like Kara's got her drone up here. <laughs> Wish there was a water bottle attached to it. Whew. Hello, babe. All right, well, I made it up here to my, my flat spot. And I couldn't see that from, from down there. So whew, I still got, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, all that. Ooh, yep, there we go. I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not. That's still a very long way. There we go. Here's where I came from, right there. All right, I'm up quite a bit further. There's the, right there's the flat area. And so I made it this far, but now it's honestly getting a little more sketch. Because now over there, it's got a bunch of thistles and stuff I have to deal with. So I'm not going that way. That stuff hurts. So I'm going up here beside the bluff line, but here it's just all this loose rock, which this is not ideal to climb up on because this stuff actually moves and slips out from under your ankle. So I don't have that much further to go. I just got to get past this crap. Well, made it up a little bit further. I can see camp again. There it is right there. Oh, that's a long freaking way. I freaking made it. Oh my gosh, I made it. Well, die with memories, not dreams. It is. Look at this. I mean, no, I, I mean, I'm not going all the way up there. This is the bluff one, this is the point here. And where am I? I'm not going up there either. This this was my goal. That's not my goal. I was just, that can no. Uh -uh. Now, as long as I don't end up like this guy, when I go back down, um, this guy didn't didn't do so well. I 
camp. I told them to send water. I don't think they're gonna. Whew. I did this. I, I did. I walked all the way. I did. I did. Da, 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 all right. Now to make my way back down. And honestly, I'm more worried about going down than I was coming up. It's going down when you get careless. You're more likely to fall. So next time you see me, I will either be well at my funeral from the hospital room or safe at camp so see you hopefully in a minute okay i am two-thirds way down maybe yeah um but you want something crazy hey there's camp uh right there um my my starlink wi-fi reaches all the way up here my wife just uh facetimed me and said hey you need to hurry it's about to start raining like no she said just tuck and roll get down um danielle was actually hiking this way she's gonna make me with water all right i made it down not quite back to camp yet but danielle met me here with some with some body armor which i desperately need thank yeah. you you look really hot uh, i am really hot because it had to go back down again and back up again and yeah stuff. and then you would have to go back just yeah. to come down unless you brought a um sheet with you and and just face jumped off of face jumped how do you feel after conquering that I can't believe I did it. Yeah? And exhausted. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> that was fun. Yeah. That was way fun. Like, I just kept going. And, like, made made points like you used to do from tree to tree. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm going to go up to that rock. Yep. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to get up to that rock. And then I got to a flat spot up there. Here. I took a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. We are pretty much packed up all we got to do is connect the trailer to the jeep yep and Brad oh, and Regina are packed shots. up oh, I gotta put Very the chocks up that's fine and I survived the hike so yay for that had a second shower for the day <laughs> and we're gonna go sure. see what else we can find Leslie Gulch. Uh, definitely going to Leslie Gulch don't know where we're camping yet or not I mean, we may camp down there we may go somewhere else we want to hit Leslie Gulch late because of the sun and just how it hits the rocks there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Come along. sure what we'll find because um, I really want to hit that gulch at sunset because the views there are spectacular and I have planned for that and I know that the way the shadows go through that canyon there can be pretty epic. can see uh, some storm clouds coming in from the left um, that would be the the north uh, doubt they're coming this way but 
make sure you're staying consistently drinking. Don't like, like watch the time and do like every 15 minutes. They are very worried about me after my hike. Make sure I'm drinking enough fluids and you know, all those things. I'm good. We pretty much spent all day at camp. It's uh, just now after four o'clock, and just just getting on the move. We're not we're not really going far, but we just like we just wanted to soak it in. We just we just honestly didn't want to leave, but we we do have some other things we want to see, other places we want to camp, so. Do not regret at all us just being lazy. Well, it's, it's crazy <laughs> how dusty it is here compared to how sloppy it was last night. Uh, it is a lot of dust here. But absolutely do not regret just hanging at camp. And the two hikes today were awesome. I just, that, that, I, that, I, I hate walking on pavement. I hate running on pavement. But you get me hiking and I will go all day. And I, I still cannot believe that I, I did that climb. That that was awesome. Like that pumped me up. There are wild horses in this area. When Danielle was here last November, she saw a whole herd of them coming out of here. Last night coming in after getting Brad and Regina, we saw one. Uh, we saw one right up on that hillside at the very top. My guess is on the other side of that hill were more, but it was like a you know like a century looking standing guard. It's pretty cool. I've never I've never seen a wild horse before until then. I'd love to see them closer and see more of them and this is what Brad and I do all day I'm droning and vanning dude it's a whole new experience <laughs> Brad uh, actually just got his drone license. So if you're watching Brad's videos, you're noticing Brad, he's actually very well in part. He's actually got uh, drone footage in there now. He's owned a drone for years, but just never got his drone license. And now he has it. So oh, yeah, he feels like now he's, he's using it. Today. Good job, Brad.
Okay, seeing the herd of wild horses with the baby, that was awesome. And before you go to the comments, I'm using the new Mavic 3 Pro. I was using the 7X Zoom on them, so I was not close to them. I was not buzzing them. Um, I was way far away from them using that 7X Zoom camera. Um, so, don't... I, I did the good thing. But, that was awesome. Absolutely freaking lutely awesome. I think this one lone tree up here on this hill is way cool. I guess it's up there by itself. There's not many trees in this area and that's that's a nice one. I am loving how absolutely diverse the Oahis are. You've got these beautiful rolling hills. You've got the big rock faces. It's just incredible. We got wild horses, we've seen antelope, we've seen coyote, um, pretty cool, this is, this is just amazing. We're entering an area known as Leslie Gulch, it's an out and back, there is a camp area down there, don't know if we'll stay there or not. But this place is way cool. Like, like I, I saw a video of this on Instagram, or yeah, and it's just crazy cool. And ever since then, I've been wanting to come down here and fly my drone through it. So here you go. I'm excited because this is a really important part of the reason why we wanted to do the Oahis. So I just read back there on the sign that this gulch is named after a pioneer named Hiram Leslie. He was actually killed here um, by lightning in 1882 and these formations are volcanic formations and they're formed by um, the runoff and all of that from Lake Oahe. Oh wow. It is starting to sprinkle on us a little bit.
like anything that we've been experiencing so far in the Oahis. It's just so much rock formations and big juts. Um, it's way freaking cool. This looks very nice. Well, we have made it to the end of the road. It dead ends here at Lake Oahe. Right there, there's a little family down there enjoying sitting by the water. There's a major campsite just up the road that is way too peopley. Uh, but there are some other smaller campsites, or at least some firings down here um, in this in this little area here so I'm not sure I'm not sure what we're gonna do I'm not sure if we're gonna camp around here or if we're gonna go back the way we came which would just be horrible because that view was just so bad um, I don't know well we'll see but Kara Kara is walking on the other side of the lake. Apparently on the Gaia Overland layer, there's a binocular icon up there. So she's got her camera and she's gonna go check that out. We'll see how that is. How was your, how was your hike up there? It was great. Did you see anything cool? Yeah, sure did. Did you give me any video of it? Nope, I got pictures though. Rude. What? The pictures are beautiful. I bet. I have to put one here. Yeah, right, right now. Just a good view of the, the lake. I don't know, you have to go up there and see. Oh. Or watch the video. Rude. So we are going back through Leslie Gulch. Darn, not going to film it though. Uh, Kara is going to take photos. And going to a campsite basically where we picked Brad and Regina up um, night before last so it's not too far away so that, that's our plan we're gonna go we're gonna go there so most likely next time you see me in big camp just chilling with my homie goose over here yeah I wish you could give me a fist bump because that's kind of like what we do nose bump Boop. no okay we're just chilling Chilling back here, going through the gulch. You think it's boring? All right, we have made it to camp. This is where we found Brad and Regina the night before last. It's it's right off the road, but that's no big deal because there's not a lot of traffic here. And view is, well, quite amazing. Uh, I think this is gonna do us very, very well. So time to get dinner going. All right, Daniel set up, uh, Brad and Regina, parked and we're set up. Uh, Brad's going to get some drone shots. We're going to have one heck of a sunset. How you liking your new eye camper? I freaking love it. It's so cool. Like it's at, it's like, it's a king size bed. It's like no angels up here. Minus the snow. It's huge. And I just like, when I came for quality, I've always said it. It's amazing quality. I love it. You know, we did the whole global road versus I camper thing, and it's definitely up on the higher end of all of the rooftop tents. But you cannot beat the quality with mm -hmm. this. Like, and the 3.0 compared to the one I had before is just so much different. Obviously, the size, but they've added just these cool things like this little drawstring around here. And so we don't have to have, it's not going to rain, 
You, you don't, don't have, have to have the poles. No. And then you have this full view, and so you can keep it open. There's not any bugs here, but I'm going to go ahead and put up this screen here, and then they have that outer shell. They did take away the plastic on the outside, which that's fine, but I freaking love I didn't it. really like the plastic anyway. Well, I like it up top. And I love it they, up top. They kept it there. Is. Yeah. I'm going to open it up tonight. Awesome. For dinner tonight, we're having a couple fillets and some mashed potatoes. Danielle's over here eating her bratwurst cheddar sausage wrap thingy. Mm -hmm. Brant too. <laughs> What's Regina cooking in the kitchen? Making chicken curry as soon chicken as I tidy curry. up my fridge. Look at how fancy. Oh, I got my lid for my pot since we're still figuring I things out. I told you I have a lid you can borrow. No, that'll it'll fit work. that. Simper Gumby. Awesome. I mean, look at that. Does it get any better than that? I kind of don't think so. It's been such a good day. That was good curry. Oh, like, I've never made curry before. It's easy. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh. If you cheat and use golden curry. What a day. It's been a great day. It has been, it's been one of my favorite days. Yeah, me too. It was yeah. super chill and you hiked I'm sure for you. I mean, I have a hike this morning too. <laughs> you did. I mean, I just didn't I'm so sunburned from mountain that hike. Boulder climb. Oh, we are up in the big massive eye camper and it is so roomy in here. <laughs> it's crazy. I know, you actually have like a workstation going I on. do, I do, getting ready to transfer some files and do some work up here but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this are one are you just gonna fall back on me i'm just leaving not? you i'm leaning i'm tired no set up i, I want to lean on you set up <laughs> oh my gosh he's driving me insane <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as we enjoyed the day and just spending time with brad and regina is always great yeah it is so good to see them unfortunately they have to say goodbye tomorrow and head to a different part of the state and we're gonna continue on in the Owyhees. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna go south from here and maybe find a hot spring so if you would please subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of our fun oregon adventure yeah and be sure to check out our patreon to find out our routes and our campsites they're pretty awesome on this trip and some sweet special events and yeah special content and all that good stuff too absolutely and for ozark overland adventures merchandise which none of us are wearing <laughs> go to shop .com. we're gonna go to bed now yeah. thanks for watching bye and oh. says bye say goodnight.